Hey guys, welcome back. You know I'm crazy for contact paper. The Dollar Tree has beautiful contact paper that I've used to cover furniture and just about every shelf in my old 1979 home. But today I'm going to update a piece of furniture with a little bit more of high-end contact paper. High-end contact paper is like legit a thing. I saw this on Amazon and it actually is really thick and durable. So durable people are using it to recover old laminate countertops and it looks beautiful. So I'm going to put it to the test to update the desk that we just bought my daughter and she completely has ruined already with permanent markers and scratches and just about everything else. So I'm going to try to give it a really inexpensive update with some high-end contact paper. So the trick with contact paper is to line up one edge and leave the back on and slowly pull the back off as you move it along. Except the edge of this wasn't straight. So instead I lined it up with the front edge. Again, it's so easy to pull off and readjust pulling the back off and using a credit card or a bookmark in this case to smooth out the bubbles as you go. For this back strip, I didn't bother lining up the pattern. I just cut it to size and again peeling off the back as I go working out the bubbles with a credit card or something flat. That's it. It's so simple to update a piece of furniture with some contact paper. This was an under five minute project and under $20 for the contact paper. It's really thick and durable and now my daughter can spill nail polish or color on it or spill makeup and it's okay because the wood underneath is protected. It's really easy easy to clean and if we ever want to pull it off it's not going to wreck the wood underneath. You know I can't do a quick little home project without some organization so I pulled out my label maker and created Izzy a spot where she can put her homework and her artwork and her writing and all of those other papers that were ending up as a pile on her desk. I'm pretty much obsessed with these file folders. They're from Indigo here in Canada and they're beautiful and functional and they're perfect for paper clutter. So in just a few minutes for just a few dollars her desk is so much more practical and pretty. I just love this desk. I totally want it in my own office and the contact paper makes it really functional for her. She doesn't have to worry about ruining it or making a mess that's hard to clean. You got to give this a try. If you have a piece of furniture in your home that you're no longer loving or just want a quick update. Maybe you have some pieces of furniture in your home that are looking a little less than gorgeous. I think this is a really inexpensive and easy way to update it without actually ruining the piece of furniture and on a crazy small budget. So I'm going to put a link down below to the contact paper that I used and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I suffer from a serious condition called house envy. I get like this sometimes where I look at Pinterest or I watch YouTube videos of other YouTubers who have bought big beautiful mansions and it's like a it's like a knife to the heart because I love beautiful houses and I want that. I do. But I also want to have financial freedom and my husband's super frugal. That's another word for cheap. And so because we share a bank account, I'm then frugal as well. My husband's dream is to retire at 45, which means we got to save a buttload of money between now and then. And that's only a few short years away. So yeah, spending it on things like furniture or redecorating a room seems silly in comparison. That doesn't mean that I don't still want it so bad, but instead of going out and buying brand new furniture, I spend a little bit and buy secondhand. Almost every piece of furniture in this entire house was bought secondhand. Sometimes I have to slap some chalk paint on it or some contact paper, but the end result is always a functional piece of furniture that I feel actually pretty great about because I know I've done it myself and I've saved a buttload of cash. So I want to encourage you, if you're like me and you're surfing the web and you're feeling that that little, Ugh, look at all these beautiful spaces, it's not fair, I want these things before, you drop some serious cash to make your room beautiful. Consider upcycling, recycling, and a little DIY. It's gonna make you feel awesome and it's gonna leave your money where it belongs 
in your bank. So sorry, not a funny story today, but this is something that I'm struggling with right now. I'm struggling with those feelings of, oh, it's not fair and I want these pretty things too. And so when I get like that, I give my home a hug. I do these little projects, whether it's organize a drawer or do some contact paper, make some new throw pillows, whatever it is. And I feel a little bit better about my home and I feel less that green envy monster trying to burst free. I'll see you guys next time.